X100V vs Olympus OMDM 10 Mark IV with 17 metals f1.8 lens. I want to discuss if a Micro Four Thirds camera can compete with the premium compact camera from Fujifilm X100V in this video now. Hi there, my name is Tudor Matescu and welcome to my channel. Before starting, I want to tell you my story regarding Fujifilm X100V and Olympus OMDM 10 Mark IV. Why I have both of these cameras and why I want to compare them for street photography, documentary photography and so on. So first of all, one of my first mirrorless interchangeable lens camera was Olympus OMDM 10 Mark II. And I didn't have this 70mm f1.8 lens. I had the 45mm f1.8, the 25mm f1.8 and so on lenses. And with that Olympus OMDM 10 Mark II body I had Fujifilm X100, the first camera, fine peaks, a CMOS sensor camera. And that camera was extraordinary and was excellent at all kinds of ISO. But Olympus MDM 10 Mark II had some problems in low light when you were getting to ISO 1600. So in time I've used both of those cameras and I've upgraded to Fujifilm X100F and so on. But the sensor of a Micro Four Thirds sensor, even if I got Lumix GX9, it doesn't satisfy me at all at that time. I also used the 20mm f1.7 lens. But again, I didn't have this lens. And after years passed by, I've got this camera because I've saw that the sensor it is better, a little better than the GX9. And after having those lenses and the 20 millimeters f1.4 lens from Olympus, the lens that I love, I've decided let me try this 70 millimeters f1.8 lens. If it is as sharp as the 27 millimeters f1.8 from Olympus, I think it will be okay. But big surprise for me, this lens it is very very sharp. Uh, this lens has an extraordinary resolution and big big surprise again for me. I feel that now this Olympus MDM 10 Mar 4 with this lens can compete with X100V with the newest lens. And I want to compare both of these cameras as a user who experienced these cameras. I'm not about pixel peeping here. And I've done some pixel peeping at the JPEGs and at the RAW files and I will talk about this in my conclusion. So if you are liking content like this, please subscribe, subscribe now to my channel and let's get to the subject. Olympus Micro Four Thirds Camera versus Fujifilm X100V, the premium camera. The first key points that I want to address are design and ergonomics. How these cameras are comparing to each other regarding design and ergonomics. So first of all, the design and the ergonomics of X100V. I think it's one of the best cameras out there with an extraordinary design and extraordinary ergonomics. But Olympus is staying also well at the design and ergonomics chapter. This grip, this grip, it is extraordinary. This camera it is balancing in a superb way with this small lens and with other bigger or smaller lenses. So, extraordinary design for Olympus 2, but yes, I must admit that regarding the ergonomics, it's under the X100V, but not too much. This camera has all the dials and the buttons that you need to do street photography. The touch to shoot screen, it is amazing. And I'm really liking at this moment to use the screen for AF and for shutter release. This screen is working incredible fast. You touch to shoot and this camera is taking the picture. I can't say that about X100V. The screen of X100V when we are talking about touch to shoot, it is a leggish screen. You can't use it. You can't use the screen for street photography and for photography where it is important to get the shot at the right moment. So I can't say that about X100V. So regarding design and ergonomics, I feel they are equal. Olympus is winning on the 
touch to shoot screen and also the EVF it is superb it's lacking some buttons and some customization that the X100V it's having but X100V it's losing at the touch screen and uh, also at the grip but uh, it's winning at the feeling at the buttons at the dials and so on so with one camera you lose something and with other camera you lose and win something so i can call them equally regarding design and ergonomics both of these cameras are looking very well they are very easy to carry and as i've said you win some you lose some another extraordinary and important thing to discuss here it is build quality how these cameras are comparing to each other regarding build quality this olympus it is made of plastics as they are saying or composite material in the hand i really don't feel it plastic i really don't feel it's plastic uh, if they didn't tell me it's not plastic i wouldn't know that it's not squeaking it's not uh, it's feeling very sturdy in the hand on the other hand x 100 v also it's feel very sturdy the materials are premium premium built the quality of the dials are premium the tactile feeling all of the build quality it is feeling in this camera and also it is weather and dust sealed full if you are adding a uv filter but on the other hand this camera is not dust and weather sealed and i have a problem and uh, for my surprise after i've made a one month review of this camera check link in the card i've got a problem at this dial this dial is working very hard it is getting blocked and uh, i can't uh, use it anymore i must send this camera into the service to get this dial repaired so i really don't like that but it is possible to happen to any camera i have a problem with fujifilm x pro c with the optical viewfinder in the first day when i've got this fujifilm x pro c i've got a problem with the optical viewfinder so it's possible to any camera to have some problem i just hope it will not be a problem that will uh, bother me on the long term and i hope it will get resolved fast in the olympus service department but i really don't like that so regarding build quality yes x100v it's winning this chapter no problems at all now let's talk about an extremely important important aspect image quality how can we decide which camera is offering us a better image quality well i think this is subjective and also i think this depends on the experience of a photographer so in my point of view in my personal point of view i feel that regarding image quality these cameras are equaling each other i was really amazed about the quality of this lens on this sensor i really feel it is above x100v in some situations but again x100v it's also winning in some other situations so i feel it really depends on the lighting and on the scene but the difference is very very small so i really can't say this is a better lens than this this lens it is above the 25 meters f 1.8 from olympus it's very very sharp starting from f 1.8 also the depth of field regarding the aperture it is almost the same yes you win here at the focal length you have here a 20 millimeters focal length so you'll have a more compression of your image and you have here a compression of a 70 millimeter field of view but overall in practice in real world practice for street photography for family photography for documentary photography for landscape photography for product photography for all kinds of shots i really feel no differences regarding these lenses and also regarding the iso because the ibis on this camera will help you lower the iso will help you control the noise so in the end regarding the raw files i can call the, both of them equally but regarding the jpeg files yes you don't have so much options on olympus but the natural jpeg files and the monocom files are looking very very well on the other hand the jpegs of the x100v are extremely versatile and you can get all kinds of uh, good looking pictures right from the camera so it really depends on what you are preferring to shoot i prefer to use both jpeg and raw jpeg for family photography check why in this video link in the card 
and the row just to have a backup and for street photography, for landscape photography, for product photography and so on. So again, I really feel uh, they are equally regarding image quality and I really was amazed about this discovery. I really didn't thought at all, at all, that an old lens, because this is an old designed lens from Olympus, the 70mm f1.8 lens will be on par with Fujifilm X100V. But again, I'm talking here about my experience. I know how to use these lenses. I know how to obtain the most out of these lenses. So I think I'm biased because my experience, it is helping me to get the most out of this micro for such camera. But for an average, user yes it is possible to feel that olympus in some lighting situation will be a little behind x100v but if you know what you are doing you'll get similar similar results and in uh, some situation better results because we are getting now to the other point so at the next point i want to discuss how versatile it's x100v or Olympus OMDM 10 Mark IV. Well, first of all, we all know that X100V it is extraordinarily good because it has an ND filter, it has an extraordinary flash and leaf shutter. The APS-C sensor it is a 26 megapixel APS-C sensor. It is weather sealed and it is very very compact and easy to carry. And also X100V has those amazing film simulation and uh, amazing JPEGs files. But on the other hand, with Olympus, at a package of similar weight, and I don't know if it is lighter, you'll have the chance to change lenses. And this is big, this is huge. Because this means you can take with you a small pro zoom lens and you'll have the chance to do extraordinary shots and you have more chances to do all kinds of street travel photography and so on. Also, this camera has an amazing, amazing IBIS. This means if you want to do some B-rolls and some short clips, you can do it with this camera from your hand and you don't have shaky footage. Also, uh, it's not overheating. This camera is overheating very, very fast regarding videography. The AF, it is better on Olympus OMDM 10 Mark IV. Also, you have this touch to shoot that is something out of this world for street photography, if you are asking me. And I will do a video why the touch to shoot, it is an amazing future that you want for street photography. So please subscribe now to get notified when I will publish that video. Also, on Olympus OMDM 10 Mark IV, you have this amazing frame that you can add to your pictures and this is i don't know it's something extremely fun extremely fun you can see the composition better by adding a frame to your pictures also you have a future that i've called it slides check link in the card that it's offering you a very strong edited jpeg but what i like about that strong edited JPEG black and white and this colored JPEGs is that they are offering you the chance to see a draft of the potential of your RAW file. And uh, this is huge if you are asking me because again, yes, you have the film simulation on uh, a Fuji camera, but if you are changing the white balance, you will ruin the RAW file and the film simulation aren't so strong. So you can't see the real potential of a file with this camera, the real potential from a RAW file. But these strong film simulations from Olympus, they will help you get some idea of that scene. I don't say they are perfect, they are not perfect, but I really like the implementation and the, the chance uh, that they are offering me to visualize the potential of a photography. So, I really like this future from Olympus. So regarding versatility, I must say that I feel Olympus OMDM 10 Mark IV, it is above X100V. Even if it doesn't have the ND filter and all kinds of other stuff, the chance to change this extraordinary lens with another extraordinary zoom, it is something very, very important regarding street photography, travel photography and all kinds of 
photography style. So I feel that the versatility chapter with the eyepiece, with the touch screen, with uh, this grip, Olympus is winning this chapter. And now the next key point that I want to address is regarding the AF. How these cameras are comparing each other regarding AF. Well, I feel Olympus it is faster with this lens. I'm sorry for X100V, but it's not as fast as Olympus. So the AF of this lens on this body, it is very, very fast. X100V is staying a little behind, but again, it's not something that you will miss. It is sufficiently fast and sufficiently good to get the shots. You will not miss shots with any of these cameras. So regarding AF, yes, this is better, but in real world results, you will get shots with both of these cameras. The next point that I want to discuss is common points. What these cameras are having in common. So it's very important to understand that both of these cameras are very easy to carry. They are very, very light. I feel they are the same regarding weight in the hand. I really feel that I didn't weight them and I don't think it's important because in the end, it matters how you feel them in the, your hand. They are both compact. They are both having flesh. They are both uh, very, very small with uh, a small protruding lens. But yes, X100V, it is a little more compact than Olympus OMD M10 Mark IV. They are both having the same height. But yes, as we can see, Olympus, it's protruding a little more with this lens. But also you can add a very compact Peking lens from Olympus or from uh, Penny that I understand it will work good. The 40mm SF 2.8 lens and I hope in the future to test that lens on this camera. So please be sure to subscribe to see my findings at that time. So now let's get to the conclusion part. What camera would I choose between X100V and Olympus OMD M10 Mark IV with this small 70mm f1.8 from Olympus. Well, it is a very, very hard decision. What I like about the X100V again is the fact that it is better built. It is more compact regarding the form factor. So I can get this X100V easier with me. But I really like the forward search format. So this camera it is very very light and I really like the IBIS. I really like again the fact that I can add a zoom to my everyday carry bag and have the option to have a zoom when I need it. So it's a very very hard decision. But in the end if I would have to choose between one of these lenses, big surprise for me too, it's the fact that I would choose Olympus. The only thing that uh, it's making me to wait for a final decision is the fact that I really don't like what happened to this wheel. And uh, I want to see if in the future the build quality of this camera it is good enough to resist an everyday use and an everyday carry. I feel it should resist. But the body is feeling sturdy in the hand. All the buttons are sturdy and they are clicking very nice uh, and all seems good. But I really don't like what happened with these wheels. So I will wait to see if this body will have enough build quality and uh, build durability in time. But again, yes, the body, even if it is plastic, I don't feel it in the hand. It's staying well. But again, yes, I'm a little more attentive with this body, not to bump it so hard. But again, I am attentive with X100V also. So I think in the end, it uh, depends if you want more lenses, if you want a small X100V with IBIS with interchangeable extraordinary lenses. And I feel Olympus OMD M10 Mark IV, it's bringing that to the table. It's offering us the chance to have a very, very compact camera with very, very good compact lenses. And if you know how to use that lenses and if you know how to use the light, you'll obtain similar images that you can obtain on a Fujifilm camera. Yes, if Fujifilm will bring us to the table an XE5 with an extraordinary grip like this, with an extraordinary IBIS like this with an extraordinary zoom, compact zoom that we don't have on Fujifilm yet, then 
at that time we'll have another discussion. But if you want the most versatility, if you want the most access to a compact camera system, then yes, this is Olympus. But if you want just one camera and one lens, if you, if you don't want to zoom, then this X100V, I think it is the best 35mm equivalent compact camera out there. Extraordinary for street photography, for documentary photography, and for all kinds of photographs. So you have here an extraordinary package. So in the end, I think the decision must be made regarding build quality. We will see that in time and the choices of good compact lenses. So if you want a small compact camera, then X100V is for you. But if you want to change lenses and have the access to a small compact zoom, like 12 to 45 f4 from Olympus or 12 to 60 from uh, Lumix, then I think uh, you should look at uh, a micro for such camera. But regarding image quality again, just talking about these two lenses on this sensor, I feel they are equally, equally good. Please tell me what you think and please be sure to subscribe now, now, now to my channel because I'll post a comparison regarding X100V versus Sony A7R3 regarding street photography. So it will be a very, very interesting comparison. And I also will compare Olympus with Sony A7R3 in terms of street photography. So please be sure to subscribe to see those videos when I will publish them. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon. Bye bye.